testing out my new dry cell. I'm going to try to hook this hose on to this other hose I'm holding right next to the camera. And we're going to time to see how many seconds it takes to fill up this one liter jug from the output of my new dry cell. So we'll start right now. Ow, it's hot. And we're probably just going to have to watch the time on the video because I have no idea because I wasn't paying attention. And I'm not pulling on it. I'm just holding it straight up and it breaks now. Coming out of that, and then here's where I had connected it, which was very hard to do. And there's the output, and here's what it looks like in a bubbler, even from the water. See, it's going through that's a pretty tall jar. So here's my hand right here. Focus back. So I don't know, that looks like about a 10 inch tall jar. It's one of the big mason jars. That tube's all the way to the bottom. see it very clear, but it is just, it's just solid, basically going all the way up, so it's breaking up a little bit at the top, but the output, that's, that's hydrogen gas coming out of that, that's not uh, steam, the uh, temperature is 156 degrees, uh, running about 50 amps, uh, 17 point something, I don't know what that was, 17.62 Six by six cell putting out uh, just an unbelievable amount of hydrogen from this little unit right here. Now all that's coming out of there. And that needle is like a fog machine. Look at that. <laughs> that's nuts. Let me get a shot of that. That's hydrogen. I hope I don't blow up. Oh my god, I don't want to spark right now. It looks like a fog machine. And you know, that's a hundred and 56 degrees, folks. This isn't 220 degrees. That's a lot of output right there. Pretty cool. Now, I'm testing out my new dry cell. I'm going to try to hook this hose on to this other hose I'm holding right next to the camera. And we're going to time to see how many seconds it takes to fill up this one liter jug from the output of my new dry cell. So we'll start right now. Ow, it's hot. Gonna have to watch the time on the video because I have no idea because I wasn't paying attention. I'm not pulling on it, I'm just holding it straight up and it breaks now. See the gas coming out of that? And then here's where I had connected it, which was very hard to do. And there's the output. And here's what it looks like in a bubbler. Even from the water. It's going through. That's a pretty tall jar. So here's my hand right here. So I get the focus back. So I don't know. That looks like about a 10-inch tall jar. It's one of the big mason jars. That tube's all the way at the bottom. And look at the look at the output on that thing. I don't know if you can see it very clear, but it is just it's just solid. Basically going all the way up. So it's breaking up a little bit at the top. But the output that's that's hydrogen gas coming out of that. That's not. The uh, temperature is 156 degrees, uh, running about 50 amps, uh, 17 point something, I don't know what that was, 17.62 volts. The volts are a little high, I had to knock that down, but uh, pretty decent specs, but I don't know what the time was, so I'll just have to, when I post it on YouTube, I'll put the time as part of the title. But there it is, Advanced Hydrogen dry cell, 6x6 cell, putting out uh, just an unbelievable amount of hydrogen from this little unit right here. Now all that's coming out of there. And that needle's like a fog machine. Look at that. <laughs> that's nuts. Let me get a shot of that. That's hydrogen. I hope I don't blow up. Oh my god, I don't want to spark right now. It looks like a fog machine. And you know, that's a hundred and 56 degrees, folks. This isn't 220 degrees. That's a lot 